today on Living by Faith. People who hit the lotto broke and owe more people less than 18 months because they didn't manage money properly when they didn't have it. Now they have it, they don't know what to do with it. And you're saying, how in the world did they blow all that money? You too would blow it if you didn't know what to do with it before you got it. So I don't want to enter into this new day that we've declared and you won't know what to do with it when we get it. Let's join Pastor Freeman for the message already in progress. Reflects the measure of honor or dishonor for the one that you are meeting with. Oh Lord. Our Lord. Let me tell you something. Let me, you should know this. I said this in the same lesson. If something doesn't disturb you about people who are always late, you just like them. Something should just make you feel like, you know what? This clown... But think about it. Think about it. If the mentor that you most wanted to just spend time with asked you or told you that you could meet with them, I don't know, I don't know how many people can roll up in there 15 minutes behind that time. You are conveying to them that you value and you honor who they are. And when you are late for people's meetings, you are telling them, I don't honor you as much as I honored something else. Now, as it relates to coming to church, <laughs> look at your name and say, oh, Lord. I said this on last, I said this on last, uh, uh, time we met last, was it Wednesday? When was it Tuesday? I don't know. I, I, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every night. Typically on Sunday mornings, typically, most people are coming from home. Look, look at your name. Say, where, where you coming from? The club? Where, where you come from? A booty call? Where, where you come from? Ask it. These a booty go. <laughs> no, where you coming from? Where, where are you coming from Sunday morning? Most, I said typically. I know some who are partners of this ministry who are coming from work. Because they work, and some of them, God bless their heart, they are here on time. They may not make it through the whole service. <laughs> but they work their tail off to work throughout the night and be here on time. That's just how they are. Now, like if you coming from somewhere else, like work or something with some legitimacy, then that, of course, excuses you from, in a lot of cases, you're being on time for something else. But see, if you're not one who respects time and order and numbers, you'll let that be your excuse and allow time thieves and time intruders to come in and always delay your being punctual. You ever, you ever needed to leave out of the house and then somebody call? And you get, you, okay, let me identify. That's why I turned on my cell phone. My cell phone was a time intruder. Now, guess what Dr. Dita told me to carry it? I didn't want to carry it. I thought that was the only balance I had to it. She said, no, you carry it, but turn it off. So I have my cell phone now, but it's never on. You know when it's on? When I want to talk. You're not just going to call me 
and gain access to me when I am prompt and punctual about other things that I've set up to do for my life and for others' life because you have a so-called emergency. So your cell phone can be a time intruder and time thieves because here's another one, time intruder, pleasing people. Where they call, and I know I got to be somewhere else. Well, you're going to let your integrity go down, flush down the toilet because somebody else who didn't do what they were supposed to do with their time now wants to intrude on your time. Oh, no, Jesus. It turns to your neighbor and say, the man's just trying to help you. So when I need my cell phone, I turn it on. I talk, and I turn it off. I try to reach you, your cell phone, ain't no, what's going on? As a matter of fact, my message says, you have called this number, but call this number and leave a message. <laughs> and I've given them the office number so that they can run it through my secretary and then I can manage my time better because you are not going to have me misappropriating my life for what you want to do. And in most cases, it ain't about nothing that you want. And you done messed me up from interfering in what I had to do, which was much more important. And the church even said, say, he's trying to help you. He's trying to. Some of y'all just love to get calls. <laughs> Who this? Who this? I don't recognize this number. Typically, I don't answer numbers I don't know. Hello? <laughs> and you love it. But here's the least and much principle again. If you let them mess you up in the least, God is judging all of that for the much. So now, if pastor says, we got church at eight, by virtue of you becoming a partner of this ministry, you have given your word that you're going to be on time for my meeting. Even if I schedule a meeting with you at my office, and you're not on time, we don't have a meeting. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> I've been pitching a fit for years. Years. Why don't weddings start on time? And sitting there and pitching a fit, looking at my watch. The Saturday, I got Saturday evening service. Man, that's your wedding. It's not my wedding. I'm already married. I'm doing <laughs> You the one want to get married. Not why I'm married. I'm doing married people stuff. You want to get married, so you can do married people stuff. <laughs> and then you're going to roll up in there. The wedding's at 2, and now it's 3, and not one flower. The bride is coming. The, we ain't heard none of that. And I would sit back there in my office and just complain. You know, this is ridiculous. And then it dawned on me. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> just leave. Mike Freeman, leave. And I said, who, who me? Yes, you. Leave. I said, what now? Yes. What time did they say? Two. You were here. They were not. Do they deserve to have you here and waste your time and dishonor you like their time? If they aren't concerned about their time, you're going to let them intrude on your time like that? I grabbed my stuff and I left. There has not been one wedding that has started Late since I left. Good God from I said I said I should have left a long time ago. And every war, every wedding coordinator and every person that's getting married, 
Five minutes is your grace period. If somebody ain't walking down that aisle, I'm out. And one of the employees, I love him so much, Dante. Where's Dante? He here? Dante. Dante Richmond. Dante Richmond. Some of y'all know he played keyboard. He work here. He, oh, he's a wonderful young man. <laughs> and his wife was not here five after. And I saw him grab my stuff. Dr. D said, baby, baby what? <laughs> baby, baby, this Dante. What, I got respect to person? <laughs> <laughs> but baby, uh, who gonna do it? I don't know. It ain't my responsibility. It ain't my fault. I was in. I'm, I, I left. And she was like, baby, don't leave. Just, baby, come back. That's what I just heard. <laughs> you can blame it all on me. <laughs> I left willing to bear whatever consequences that will come from that because he's a dynamite young man. It would have been tragic to have him to be so offended and leave this church because he's a great, talented young man. But if you start making respect a person and intruding and interfering on the principle that you are, you are a compromiser. You are on the way of being chiseled off, and it won't be long that you will wear yourself away, and then you'll become like everybody else. I, I'm working on something. I want something too major. I want something too big from God to start chipping away my standards and what God told me to live by because somebody else don't want it as bad as I want. I want stuff too bad for my life. And I cannot compromise in any area. If pastors want to be homeowners, they want to be freaks, they want to sleep with their partners, these, these cats are homosexuals. I don't know how they're doing. Their talent is getting them far beyond what they deserve because it's all talented. But there's coming the day where all that stuff going to collapse. And only that which has been established on the solid foundation of what God has established will be stand. I'm telling you what I know. But the requirement now, even in the pulpit, is no longer righteous. Righteousness. All you got to do is be talented these days, talk real fancy, and know a bunch of jargon, and be educated. Those are now the criteria for being a man of God. We'll be right back after these messages. Listen, I didn't just call this year the year of favor. The Spirit of God put that in me. That's it. This has been proclaimed from the throne of God that for this church and the people of this church, that favor is going to overtake you like a tsunami. Can I just suggest that we're going to have the scent of favor all in this house, all year long? You're going to walk in favor. You're going to smell like favor. And holy and righteous living is going to be essential. Yeah. And some of y'all ain't got a revelation of who you are. You won't even ask. I got to get you to ask stuff. You have not, because you don't know whose you are and who you are and what's on you. Your tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I want to get your mouth open this year so you can start writing out the things that's been in your heart because you believe this favor is up on you. And because it's up on you, who can stop me with all this favor? We are believing for stuff that will come on you that will be unexplainable, undeniable, and unstoppable. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dwight Grant, this is my lovely wife Naomi, and we are the senior pastors of New Genesis Inc. in Bermuda and the Cultural Development Center, Nassau, Bahamas. Over the last four years, my wife and I have hosted an annual retreat called Marriage the Kingdom Model. Now, we believe that marriage has been designed with the ability to impact and influence nations. Now, with that in mind, we have joining us this year very special guest speakers, Drs. Mike and Didi Freeman of Spirit of Faith Christian Center. So come join us for our annual marriage retreat 
Don't miss Marriage, the Kingdom Model, February 15th through the 18th at the beautiful Atlantis Hotel at Paradise Island, Bahamas, with special guests, Dr. Mike and Dr. Dee Dee Freeman. Register now at NewGenesisFF.com. See you there. Go to our website and register today, NewGenesisFF.com. Don't miss it. Your life, your marriage will be changed. Based upon the Word of God, will help other people. They may not like you for it, but in the end, you're going to help them win. If Oprah had called you a little intelligent, I was talking to a lady last night, we were teaching. She said, this is just a great lesson. I was teaching last night. This is just a great lesson. You know, because me, I'm used to CP time. <laughs> and she made a statement that was more, more seemingly important than the statement she made. I said, what were you saying? She said, oh, okay. But uh, I said, no, not that statement. You mentioned something about, about CP time. She said, CP time, you're not familiar with that statement? I said, yes, I am. But isn't that interesting? That is another stronghold that seemingly has plagued colored people. And we make it a part. What's CP time? And we laugh about it. You know, it is CP time. And it's a stigma, a negative stigma that's placed upon this particular people group that we have swallowed hook, line, sinker, pole, fisherman, boots, and boat. <laughs> and gives justification to our tardiness. Turn to your name and say, I ain't fooling with y'all. I ain't fooling with y'all. <laughs> say, I, I ain't a part of that group. <laughs> uh, unless it's Christ Productions. Another stigma that's been placed on us. You let somebody who can change your condition. You let somebody who can change your financial and physical condition in life call you to their office. If Carlos Slim said he wanted to see you, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Oprah. If, if Oprah said, Lord, the gospel of Oprah, <laughs> I would like for you to come to one of my favorite theme shows. <laughs> Lord, your tail would have a sleeping bag, <laughs> a lawn chair parked out front because you want to be first in line. Ooh! I can't wait to get in and see Oprah. Honor, you convey, that's the measure of honor you have for what she says because you seen the exchange in that. But you don't know, based upon the least and much principle, that God is determining how much he can pour on you by your just being on time for me. I ain't talking about for me, I'm just talking about anybody, you too. If you arrange a certain time, you don't know that God is judging based upon this least and much principle how much he can give you. And nobody ain't blocking my stuff. Turn to your neighbor and say, I like you and all, but you are not blocking my stuff. <laughs> Number one is what? Number two is what? And then, watch this, reflects your priorities and what you value. Number three, number two, number one, two, three. Number three is reflect. Number one is reflect the measure of excellence. I talked about that. It reflects the measure of honor or dishonor. Number three, reflects your priorities. Because when you are on time for work, and you're not on time for church, 
you have more vested interest in work than you have church. It's, it's telling on you. And if it wasn't for your connection and relationship with the Lord and the church, you wouldn't have the work that you have. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and say, you getting any help out of this? All of this, all of these things tie into something very simple. Because when you look at the Hebrew and Greek, the definitions from the original tense, you have two words that are defined relative or germane to time. That's chronos and kairos. Kronos is a space of time. Kairos is or denotes a fixed or definite period of time, like, like for instance, seasons. God, I, got, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get you to see all of this together. I gotta put all of this together for you. Because if you don't respect Kronos, you will never see the Kairos. Okay, okay let, me, let me understand what I'm saying. That's where we get chronological from. Our time, time in space. There's time here that is considered the least of time, but then there are times that's more important than this particular monitoring of time that God has set up for you to walk into. Like, like okay, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. He declared through your prophet that it's a new day. Well, see, now that is kairos because it's speaking specifically to a certain time or season. Something is going to happen in that particular season or time. But if, okay, based upon the least and much principle, if you are not faithful in the chronos, the little time and being on time, you are disqualifying yourself for that day that's supposed to happen. Oh, man. Ask your neighbor, say, are you getting any of this? Yeah. I'm, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to be deep. Ain't nothing deep about me. I'm trying to convey something to you that because if this least and much principle doesn't mean anything to you, if you can't see that God is judging you on little things, to determine how you're going to do with big things. He cannot release big things in your life because he cannot assist you in failing. Okay, okay. He doesn't want you to get out there and fail. You talk about this but he knows this. With every new level, there's a new devil. So if he releases you to another level, there's a new devil that's coming at the level you're on. And if you didn't properly uh, prepare for the least of things, that's how you've gotten too much. And you, you ever see people who got more than what they deserve too fast, too soon? It won't be long where they destroy. People who hit the lotto broke and owe more people less than 18 months because they didn't manage money properly when they didn't have it. Now they have it. They don't know what to do with it. And you saying, how in the world did they blow all that money? You too would blow it if you didn't know what to do with it before you got it. So I don't want to enter into this new day that we've declared and you won't know what to do with it when we get it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Turn to your neighbor and say, get a man a better shot. Yeah. Trying to help your tail. <clears throat> Is is this making any sense to you? Yes. Say based upon, based upon this, least this least and much, and much principle. principle. If, I fail, if I fail in being on time, and being on time I'm going to mess up time, mess up time. Which, involves which involves a new day, a new day. Season, season for my life. For my life. 
So God is judging now how I'm going to handle that new day with how I'm handling the seconds of being on time. This got to mean something to you. I told you, this ministry, turn to your neighbor and say, he'll be finished in about four minutes. Come on. Say, don't go to sleep yet. Go to sleep. <laughs> I told you, this ministry and the partners of this ministry are not doing late in 2012. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you get all the late out of you right now. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So then, knowing these things will help you to eradicate time intruders. Okay, I told you cell phones, right? I told you pleasing people. I t oh, did I tell you unscheduled requests? Did I say TV? I got you. Twitter. Facebook. Emails. Uh-huh. YouTube. Because you can go on and on and on to the break of dawn. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. With YouTube. You see one video, and then that one video will give you something that's like the video you just, I, I got to see that. I got to gotta see that. Before you know it, you done sat there an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, oh, my God, I got to go. And then you're running, and you just disqualified yourself from Kairos. Thank you for viewing today's broadcast. If you'd like to purchase an audio or video copy of today's lesson, please send your check or money order for the price shown on the screen, and please note the number of each tape you plan to order. Visit our website at www.spiritoffaith.org. That's www.spiritoffaith.org. Or you may call 1-888-630-4540 or to order by mail, send your check or money order to Living by Faith, 2261 Oxen Run Drive, Temple Hills, Maryland, 20748. Pastor Michael Freeman will be teaching at the following locations. Christian Faith Center, Federal Way, Washington, February 11th through the 12th. New Genesis, Bahamas, February 15th through the 17th, Please contact us for more information at 301-630-3733 or visit our website, www.spiritoffaith.org. The proceeding was paid for by the friends and partners of the Living by Faith broadcast.